Hello everyone and welcome to this monthly reading, your monthly card reading and energy forecast for this month. Um, so as with all my readings, um, they're timeless. So whenever you happen to find this video and watch it, it's the perfect time for you. Okay, so my name's Renee Sixperia. I'm a light worker therapist and best-selling author. And um, yeah, I do these wonderful card readings for you. I do pick a card readings as well as monthly readings, weekly readings, and daily affirmations for you, as well as other videos on spiritual topics and um, metaphysical and spiritual and personal development, etc. So watch it if you want to improve your life or if you want some guidance on any area of your life. And please do subscribe, especially if you're new to my channel. You're very, very welcome. It's a loving community and I'd love to have you as part of our Angelic Creations family. Okay, so let's get with this. Let's shuffle the cards and see. Oh, one is falling out. You know, when they jump like that, it's a special message. So we keep them out there. Let's continue. Anyway, how is everybody? Have you had a lovely month, my angels? I hope you have. And if not, if it's been a bit rough or if you've got something going on, let's see how um, we can help you. Let's see what this month has in store for you and what you need to know to weather that storm or to um, change direction if need be. Okay. Okay. So that one fell out. So that's going to be number one. This is for Aries. So Aries, pay special attention because there's a special message for you here today. Three of water. Wow. So, oh, by the way, I'm using the Vision Quest Tarot this month, which is lovely. It's an old box. I've had it for years and years, um, but I haven't worked with it as much as a lot of my other packs. So this will be interesting, even though it's very, very old. Beautiful images, though. Um, so Aries, three of water, this is usually the three of cups and you know, your cup runneth over basically, there's fullness here, um, it's abundance, it's a very happy, joyous time for you, so enjoy it, revel in that celebratory energy, you've got a few celebrations coming up, whether that's a birthday, an anniversary or some kind of gathering, it's a time for friendships, for friends, for laughter, for good food, good drink, uh, you know, good wine is cups after all. Um, yeah, it's, it's good times. And so it's, it's something, if it's not happening in your life right now, maybe it's something you need to instigate. So, you know, maybe you need to be the party planner and, um, make sure you celebrate a special event this month. Okay, Aries, that's for you, my loves. Let's go to Taurus. What do you need to know? Ooh, Ace of Earth. So this is normally the Ace of Pentacles. And here we have a beautiful um, picture of corn, multicolored corn and beautiful sky. And, you know, aces are about new beginnings, inspiration, um, a new start. And so for you guys, it's like, wow, there's some new money coming to you, new energy, new finances, maybe a new accountant, something to do with finances. You're, you're uh, yeah, you're discovering something new there, a new investment, a new form of income a new stream of income or very definitely a new job of some sort. So if you've gone up for a job, job interview recently, you're probably most likely to get it, Taurus. And this is very good for you because you are an earth sign and you are very much into stability and, um, you know, having that security. So this month is like the beginning of that. There's new security there. And so enjoy all this month and um, yeah, let us know how it goes for you because it looks like it's gonna be a good month for you financially. Um, and also to do with housing, you know, anything to do with your stability, your physical stability and your physical body as well. All positive, very good, beginning of a new start. And look, these, doesn't this look like um, it's doing muscle arms? <laughs> so it's like, get to the gym, go take care of your physical body as well. It's like a new exercise regime that you're starting up. It's a good idea, go for it. Okay, that's Taurus. Let's go to Gemini. Hey, Gemini, how are you? Say hi. <laughs> You've got the two of earth, which is change. And again, this is in the traditional tarot, the two of pentacles, which is usually a man juggling two coins. And here we have, this is beautiful, isn't the imagery gorgeous? The sun and the moon intertwined within the uh, vine of this plant or this fruit or vegetables, whatever that is. Um, but it's gorgeous. And it, it really is the intertwining of energies that you've got to balance um, 
two different tasks or two different energies. You're sort of having to dance with life. So you're having to maintain your balance within um, some opposing factors, so opposing energies. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's a little bit of everything this month, but I think your challenge this month is to just maintain your composure um, and just, you know, try and maintain your balance. And you can do that. You know, the, the sun and the moon share the sky. It's one sky, but they take turns. So it's about prioritizing your priorities and, you know, finding that balance and making sure you've got time for you as well in the middle of that mix. Okay, so dance with life. The earth might be moving beneath your feet, but instead of falling over and tripping up and thinking life is a disaster, dance, dance with it. Yay. Okay, Gemini, lots of love to you. Do make a comment. Let us know how this month goes for you and what that pertains to. So we've got Cancer next. Hi, Cancer. Your month is the Two of Fire. This is the Two of Wands normally. Okay. So this really is about you finding your willpower. The will is there. The will is strong. And whatever you're looking towards for the future, it's just telling you to maintain that energy. You know, you look forward to the future. You've got to focus. I always think of, you know, these arrows. You think of Artemis, the goddess. And, you know, in order for you to leap forward, you've got to pull back on the bow in order for that arrow to shoot forward. And you want to be very careful about where you're pointing that arrow. Uh, cancer because that's where it's gonna go and it's gonna go with a lot of intensity and speed and you really want to make sure that you're focused in the right direction so make sure your focus is in the right direction this month um, cancer and make sure that you know before you pull your energy and gather all that energy pull it back in order for it to spring forward that you're pointing it in the right direction so lots of meditation there I think before you exert your will if that makes sense of course it should make sense. It's quite straightforward. So let us know how that goes for you this month, guys. Hope you have a wonderful month full of exploring your willpower. Hurrah. Okay, Leo. Hi. Let's see. Oh, Leo. We've got the five. Five of fire. Five of wands. Okay, so this, this is like the wands all clanging to, you know, hitting each other. And um, there's going to be a little bit of stress. We won't lie. It even says it there. <laughs> and you've got a bit of thunder there. But, you know, a little bit of drama makes for an interesting life. <laughs> That's all how I want to look at it. Let's reframe it that way. Um, but Leo, honestly, it's going to be fine if you can think of things uh, reframe it. So you might have a stressful month, but, you know, hold on tight and reframe it. And, you know, instead of th feeling that things are, or people are competing with you, have a, have a different frame of mind. Think of cooperation. How can we make this work? Or what, how is it making me grow? How is it stretching me? What is this challenge trying to teach me? These are some of the, the um, thoughts that you can, and uh, ideas that you can give yourself during the stressful time. So make sure you have some self-care this month, Leo, because it looks like you're going to need it. And um, honestly, you do deserve a lot of love and pampering and, um, you know, hand-holding during this stressful month. But I feel, I feel like you can handle it. You know, it's very strengthening and you can do it. You can do it. You're going to be fine. Just weather that storm. And, you know, actually, sometimes when you look at this image, it's not so bad because... You know, they're not hitting each other exactly. Maybe that one is. But sometimes you could look at it and think, God, they're lighting the way for each other. You know, it's like everyone's bringing their torch in to light the way. So you do have a support system there. Make sure you use it. OK, Leo. Right. We're halfway through. We're now at Virgo. Hi, my Virgos. How are you? Oh, well, you are great, it seems. <laughs> this month, you've got the Six of Water, which is the Six of Cups. And here, it's just such a beautiful image of the Six Cups, the lotus flowers, and this wonderful stream, this fountain or waterfall of energy. This water pouring down, very abundant, very pleasurable time. You have the word pleasure there. This is going to be a month of joy, a month of celebration, a month of emotional pleasure and emotional you know, happiness. There's a lot, a lot of blessings here this month for you. You've got the number six, which is the number of beauty and harmony. So it's a very harmonious month for you. Um, things are going to go well. Things are going to run smoothly. Whatever you've put into place, into practice, whatever projects you're putting out there or, or relationships that you're sort of going toward, or you're thinking of asking someone, you know, on a date or 
maybe taking the next step, asking them for marriage or whatever. Um, there's emotional pleasure and contentment there. So it's it's a good month and a good sign for that. Um, and if you're currently in a relationship, it's even going to get better this month. It's great. So it's like most areas, if not all areas of your life are going to be hunky-dory and wonderful this month. So enjoy it, Virgo. How wonderful is that? Remember to make a comment on um, on how it goes for you. All right, Libra. Hi, Libra. Let's see what this month has for you. The Two of Water. Yay! And this is the love card, Two of Cups. It really is a coming together of energies. So you are falling in love this month. And whether it's in a, you're in a current relationship or whether you're looking for one or whether you're in a new relationship or want to take it to another level or whatever, there's a lot of love this month. This is a great card to get. So you are in love this month, guys. And if this isn't making sense in terms of somebody else in your life, then apply it to yourself. It's like you fall in love with yourself, but in a good way, not in a vain way, in, in just, you know, that God love way, the way that the divine sees you and the, the way that your angels see you and appreciate you. You're really going to have a sense of that this month and you're going to grow in love this month. And if it's, you know, not just uh, romantically, but, you know, loving your friends and your family and just feeling really loved up. How wonderful is that? OK, Libra, you know, spread the love. Let us know how it goes this month. And if you know what that relates to. Yay. Well done you. Okay, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. How are you? Hope you're well. Well, you'll be even better seeing what this month has in store for you. Nine of Water. Joy. How awesome is that? And you have a lady here. <laughs> she actually looks like me. My hair is really long at the moment. Um, but that's not me. That's somebody else in your life. Or it could be me doing this reading for you. Um, but it's, it's that very feminine energy. It's very tranquil, although there's energy flowing here in the waterfall and you've got the nine cups surrounding so this really is the card of joy the card of wishes being fulfilled your cup runneth over it's like things that you have put into motion um ideas thoughts plans jobs projects uh you know even romantic romantic stirrings anything that you've started is now this is a cycle a completion of a beautiful cycle and it's ending in joy I'm not saying the relationship's ending. I'm just saying that this cycle, this period or this this phase within the relationship is ending in joy, ready for the next phase. So, you know, what, what's next, which is exciting. And it looks very, very positive and joy. Wow. What a wonderful card to get. That is just beautiful, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So enjoy this month. Let us know how it goes for you. And uh, yeah, please make a comment. Now, did I say Sagittarius or Scorpio? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I meant Scorpio. Sorry. Scorpio. Um, yeah. Do, do let us know how this pans out for you, Scorpio. Lots of love. Bye. Okay, now we're at Sagittarius. Let me just double check. Yes, I just double check. We're at Sagittarius. Okay. And Sagittarius, how are you? I hope you're well. And let's see. Yes, you are well, because this month you are about to have a breakthrough. You've got the six of earth. Wow. And look at it represented in this pack of cards by a beautiful giant sunflower and a woman reaching her arms up in gratitude and joy, surrounded by other smaller sunflowers in this woven basket that's open, an open um, container. And it's you receiving your breakthrough. So you've worked hard. Um, you've wanted the recognition for all your hard work, for all the success. You're about to claim that success. You'll be riding on your horse through the town being celebrated. I'm talking about the rider weight, uh, traditional uh, six of pentacles card. Um, but yeah, that's the feeling that you are celebrated. You are recognized. You're appreciated. And that reward is, I think, for you even more satisfying than the financial reward or, or, you know, whatever reward comes from whatever you've done. Um, it's just the acknowledgement of it. It's just going to really make you sparkle and happy and wow, you're going to have a breakthrough. And whether this is a job, a health situation, a romantic situation, relationships, whatever it is for you, there's a massive breakthrough for you this month. So 
you know, prepare your energy, Sagittarius, is going to be a very interesting month for you. And uh, woohoo, celebrate and celebrate with us, you know, mention it in the comments. What, what are you hoping to break through this month? Because it looks like the energy of the universe um, and your energies are aligning. It's going to happen. It's a really good month. So uh, enjoy it, Sagittarius. Enjoy it. You deserve it. All right, Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. What do you need to know this month? Da, da, da. Oh, my loves. Okay, Capricorn, we have the three of air, which is three black feathers, probably from these crows up there. Um, yeah, and one's broken there. So it's it's an air sign. Uh, it's, you know, the three of swords normally. And it is here it's saying it's doubt. So it can be a stress card. It can be a heartbroken card. You know, it can be a card where... Things haven't turned out the way that you really wanted it to, despite your best efforts. Um, you know, whether that's love life or career or a project or, you know, whatever area we're looking at here. It's it's just been very stressful and really tiring. And, you know, all I can say to you, look at the, the clouds here with the rain pouring down. Don't be afraid to cry. It's okay to feel vulnerable. In fact, that's where your strength lies in your vulnerability, your ability to be vulnerable. It's okay to have a down moment, to live in the blackness for, for a moment, because, you know, life is all about the yin and yang, the light and the dark. And my loves, just, just know that you have support there. You have a spiritual team who love you very much. And you've also got probably many people who love you too. Um, and even people you don't know who actually really care about you. So please do reach out for help reach out for support. You deserve it. And if it's not such a serious thing, if it's just, you know, you're feeling a bit meh, then, you know, you can lock yourself away and just, you know, feel meh and just stay at home in your pyjamas and just, you know, you know, be lazy and do whatever, you know, makes you happy. This, this really is a month for you to have some TLC. You're feeling doubtful about situations and you need to replenish your energy and strengthen your self-confidence. And things are going to be fine because... In, in the world, in the universe, nothing is, um, you know, everything is always changing and in flux. So, you know, you, this period of time won't last for long. And this isn't to say that the whole month is going to be like this for you. It might just be a couple of days in the month or just, you know, a little blip in the month. But um, just make sure that you, you take care of yourself this month, my loves. Okay? Because you deserve it. Okay. Lots of love. Let us know in the comments if you need any prayers or support, and I'm sure this community will send you some, because it's a really loving community. Some of the comments are just so beautiful from you guys, and I really appreciate that. You're taking care of each other. Okay, so take care of yourselves, guys. Lots of love. Okay, Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. How are you? Let's see what your month is about. Father of Fire. Wow, look at that. And that is the... Um, king of wands normally and here it's depicted as the father figure here with his bow and arrow which is gorgeous because this this is very much an energy of strength foresight someone who is dynamic energy a very spiritual leader and it feels like this is you coming into your your power your spiritual power so I wouldn't be surprised if you are some kind of spiritual healer or teacher or someone who's had a spiritual awakening recently and um, is discovering or rediscovering your spiritual path. Um, maybe you're going through some stuff or maybe some personal, um, uh, what's I going to say, development courses, personal development or spiritual development courses, or you're somebody who's finished a level of that and you're about to step out into the world as a teacher or a healer, or, you know, a spiritual career, something like that. And this is just to say, yeah, this is the month for you. This is time for you. And you need to be out there in the public doing it, shining your light and being in your power and being that leader because the world needs more leaders like you. And you're getting some great inspiration, great energy, great support. And your power is really is up there at this moment in time. So we need you out there, light worker. We need you out there. So um, shine your light, do your thing and share with us down below what you do for a living. Um, and it might not be that you do spiritual work for a living, but you are somebody that people come to for advice, for example. That's another way that you're you're being a spiritual leader. It doesn't have to be in your job. It could just be in your family and the things you do. Or you could do your job with with love, you know, with 
it could be any job in the whole wide world it's just that you're spreading love and light through what you do so yeah share with us what do you do guys it'd be very interesting to know so lots of love to you guys and uh yeah it'd be interesting to know what you do Okay, so we're right at the end now. We've got Pisces. Hi, Pisces. I hope you're well. And let's see what this month has in store for you. Pisces. Right, you've got the Four of Air, which is the Four of Swords normally, which is um, someone that's normally resting, lying down. Um, and in this pack of cards, oh gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Just four very still feathers. And you can feel the, the serenity in that, can't you? It's very tranquil. The colours... And just the four feathers just seemingly floating there in the air. And here it says contemplation. So yeah, that's that's beautiful. It's time to meditate. A time to rest. A time to just go within and, you know, shut the door. You know, have your boundaries. Shut the door. Rest. You deserve it. It's been quite trying for you. It's been very hectic. And you need some time to just gather your energies, gather your thoughts and enjoy this month. Make it a simple month. Make it a month where you just relax. Because I think relaxation and, and quietness is something that's really underrated and, and not promoted. It's kind of in our society now is looked down upon. It's like you have to be go, go, go all the time. That's because that's success. Well, no, not really. <laughs> you have to have balance. And um, I think most people are deficient in the relaxation area. So, yeah, it's time for you to go yin, go within. Um, receive rather than be giving all the time you know allow yourself to receive maybe receive some massages receive compliments receive money receive good energy receive peace and love and joy and all the goodies that the universe has to offer you know receive that gift from a friend of, of just you know someone who listens someone who cares just whatever it is learn to receive this month and learn to just be still and contemplate on life and then that will propel you into the next month, whatever that is. Okay, guys, so that is your reading for the month, your energy forecast. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I do them every month, so do tune in and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this reading and you would like to watch more every month or every week or pick a card readings or if you want to, to enjoy my daily affirmations, which they're only a minute or two long and they're designed for you to start your day or, or fill your day with positive energy. So you have to say them three times with me, stretch your arms out and infuse your energy with those daily affirmations. But, you know, have a look at my playlists. I've got lots of videos there for you and uh, enjoy the videos. And if this month didn't resonate with you, if this isn't the one that you wanted, maybe this isn't your month. Go have a look at the playlist, choose another monthly reading um, and that will probably be the one for you. But my guess is if you stumbled upon this video, this is the reading for you for this month. Um, but like I say, all my videos are timeless. So enjoy them. Have a play. Have a have a watch of my other videos and do make a comment, please, because I love to hear from you. And it's nice to chat to you. You're all beautiful, beautiful souls. And um, and I really appreciate you all. And do subscribe to my channel. Um, do make a comment. Do like the video. Please do only take a second just to hit that like button and share it. If you know anybody else who'd be interested in this kind of stuff if someone who you know wants to know about their month or pick a card readings and um yeah also if you want to receive a free gift the five spiritual principles to living a great life go ahead into my website which is www.angelic-creations.net and you'll receive your free gift straight away one every day um and then you'll receive my angel mail every month so yay welcome to the family so I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, have a beautiful month and take care of yourself and just remember that you are loved, all is well, life is wonderful and I'm going to send you off on a ping. Have a great, great month guys. Lots of love.